My name is Eddie White. Um, I'm 22. I'm from Minneapolis, Minnesota. And this is crazy, man. I'm headed to New York. It's my first time ever, ever heading to New York. I only seen this type of stuff on movies and stuff, you know. Stepping into a big city, big lights, new arena. I feel like it's nothing but opportunities out here. I'm kind of nervous right now, you know. I'm feeling a bunch of different emotions right now. I'm kind of nervous, I'm kind of anxious, I'm excited all at once, so. I'm trying to keep a level head and, you know, accomplish what we got planned, cuz. I know this is a big step for what I want to do. Your attention please. This is the final call for LTU. <laughs> Where are Alicia Keys at? This is the, we need the theme music right now. Big lights will inspire you. I'm gonna see JC today. Hey ho, what's up ho? See your boy. I'm gonna fly. I see the boss of you kid. <laughs> Man, it's like a mini vacation. Oh, it's a big vacation. It ain't negative degrees. It's cold, but we used to, this 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 light cold to us. This baby cold. I'm just looking at all these buildings. I ain't even got close to them yet. You to hurt no love, baby. We can start over and we can take it back to the no in the class. With a yes or no question, if it's a yes, just put a circle on it. Ah, uh, uh, you got something I can feel on. Trying to get you straight up out the panties, I'ma pull them off. Hey, put cream on your stomach, I'ma lick it up. I have no idea what's gonna happen when we get out here. <laughs> I mean, I know we got set up, I know we got planned, but as far as meeting with labels and ARs and people that actually matter. You know, I've never been in a situation like this, so. Man, this is a big step for me. Eddie, that's the artist. Eddie, hey, how you doing, man? Corey, nice, nice to meet you. you. Nice to meet you, bro. We sit right there. <laughs> What's been going on up here, though? Like, what, what y'all gearing up for? Anything special? Yeah, um, you know, Gabby Wilson, her EP supposed to drop soon. You know, we just getting that in order. The Brandy, her TV show came out. She just dropped the record. It's called Begging and Pleading. Uh, there's supposed to be a video to that soon. To the begging and pleading joint? Yeah, it's gonna be a video. It's supposed to be dope. Tierra's just constantly working, constantly, constantly, constantly working. Today's market is real different. Like, you know, there's males, mm -hmm. but it's to me, it's constantly like the same males. Fill me in. Eddie, you from, you from Minnesota? Minneapolis, Minnesota, yeah. All right. I guess what y'all currently working on right now? Sure, we're just working on a project, really. Um, we probably about eight tracks in. Eight tracks in? Yeah, so we just freshly starting on it, really, but trying to get all the producers together, come up with a, a nice sound, something original, you know? Something fresh, something that's kind of like, you know, in the lanes of what's going on, but still like something that's a little different because we're not trying to feed into what's already out here, you know? Mm -hmm. I think we're finding a fresh sound, you know what I'm saying? we kind of trying to tamper in, you know, not make it too R&B, trying to like make a cross in between, you know, like top 40s and R&B type, yeah. you know, feel together. All right, let me hear something. Sure. Uh, well, this song is more about like, Basically, like, you're not open to love, you know what I'm saying? You out here playing the field, mm -hmm. you, you ain't never really took love serious, and then you run into that person that, that kind of make you double back, like, damn, you know, I ain't never felt this right, mm -hmm. right here, you know what I'm saying? So 
now she got your attention. Now she got you feeling things you ain't felt. And it's like, you can't, you can't fight the feeling no more, you know? Now it's like, this where you at, you stuffing on this, and now you're trying to catch it before, you know, it leaves. But trying to, you know, get a grasp of it and understand at the same mm-hmm. time. So, yeah, it's love. I'm in the studio right now. Um, music works. The vibe here is, is 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 exactly what you would look for when you want to record. I'm in the studio with an amazing writer named Dolly. I kind of broke down my story to her a little bit to kind of build that comfort level between us and an understanding, and it, it worked because the vibe is crazy right now. Everything is flowing and the music is coming out perfect.
you know, I always imagine, you know, my first trip and what, you know, what it would look like, what the, the atmosphere would feel like, you know, the energy I would get in. This is kind of about right. Being in New York has really made me feel like I can really accomplish all my goals. Every dream that I have, I feel like is in reach. I just have to put in the work. So I got my first voice lessons today. Professional voice lessons from a celebrity coach, actually. His resume is crazy. It speaks for itself. He's worked with Alicia Keys, Maxwell, Missy Elliott, Katy Perry. The list goes on. So I'm, I'm really curious and excited to see what he can do for me. Because you, you play to that, and you learn that you have an effect. You have a magnetic effect, a magnetic effect that manifests when you're on your diaphragm, and you sing it as if you intentionally mean what the words are. You touch people who need to hear the words. Who are the people? Us. Applying the same regimen that you do to athleticism, meaning practice, 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 then we really got good at it. Well, instead of going to basketball and football practice, we devoted all our time to music. The musicians are free thinkers. When you're free thinkers, you're not affected by what the status quo says. So you know the truth. And I've sung with everybody from Etta James, even Mick Jagger, Michael himself. We did we won the Grammys, and Michael, myself, and Will Downing. Say your name. Eddie White. You got a name like a singer. Man, Eddie White. This guy's methods of teaching are bananas. Like. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen such a strong personality. This guy is definitely a character. Like, I'm loving this shit right now. And he speaks his mind, and he's not scared to say anything. Whatever's on his mind is going to come out of his mouth. <laughs> Shut up. I'm talking about him. He's not talking about me. You guys coming here, 20-something years old. I remember when I was 20, I just haul off from the foul line and slam on him up and then point at him. Craig was here. You didn't take my picture. But I was there after you came. Thank you. Christ himself is a black. Dark skin Puerto Rican. That's what he would have called it, man. <laughs> you know it's serious because the talent that is coming through these doors to, to meet with this man is crazy. I met a, a number of just people, vocalists, that he's working with, and their voices are crazy. First of all, I'm privileged to be even in the same room with a young man's 40 years my junior, and, and you guys are still checking for what we're saying. The music business is amazing, and it's always an opportunity, and this young man, this young man Eddie White has a great opportunity. You know, I'm, I'm glad to be still around. You keep me relevant, and I'm gonna help you bridge the gap from where we were singing positive messages and and exclaiming good things toward one another. And I'm glad to see you doing it, man. So this is Craig Derry saying exactly what I heard from this young man. Plus, he's from, he's from Minnesota, where I spent some time in Minnesota uh, in my formative years as uh, an athlete. I went to college out there. And I don't have to wish him no luck because he's blessed. There's a difference between luck and blessing. So luck goes away, blessing doesn't go away. And then blessing is the gift that keeps on giving because as he's blessed, he keeps blessing. He give me something to be glad about in this younger generation. I appreciate that.
maybe this trip was really a test for me to see if I actually had it, you know? To see if I can prove to myself that I actually had it. You know, it just got me real, real excited for, for everything that I have coming, you know? But it makes me want to work that much harder. I got so much more work to do. This is just the beginning. This, you know, just getting my toes wet, not even my feet. I got to dive in now. I got to really focus on what I'm trying to get accomplished because now I see that everything I want, I can get. She said she won't time out, but that's time I won't give her It's real out here, you're stuck in the desert, yeah.